Happy spring! Welcome to the Bead Floor Studio. I'm Fen. I was approached by uh, Bead and Jewelry Magazine to design some spring flowers. And these wild daisies were inspired by the wild ones that grow along a trail by my home. And believe it or not, this is a beginner project. I wanted to show that you can put many simple flowers together to create one stunning arrangement. Um, I'll be showing you how to make one of the flower patterns. Um, for the rest of the patterns, uh, pick up a copy of the Spring 2017 of Bead and Jewelry magazine that's available at Barnes & Noble. Let's get started. Here's my baby girl. Hi Claire. What are you doing, girlfriend? What do you have there? Hmm? Is it yummy? Yeah. yeah? Good. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? <laughs> Uh, the te technique that I'll be showing you uh, is called the continuous loop. So I'm going to leave a um, tail about three and a half inches or um, 10 centimeters. Then we're going to count some beads. We're going to count 17 beads. I count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 17. And then what we're going to do is create a cross. underneath the beads and then make a loop. All right. Now let's do another one. 5, 10, 15, 17. And twist, twist. Now we have two continuous loops. I'm going to keep going until I have um, 11 of these. Now I have 11 loops. I'm going to just cut this here. And taking this with each of the loops, I'm going to just twist it here. Like this. With each individual loop. Now for this pattern, you will need to make two of these continuous loops. Um, put them on top of each other. And then twist the wires together. On both sides. it up so um, we're going to leave a tail, three and a half inches or 10 centimeters. Make sure you have a knot at the end of the wire. Um, have the bead right here at the three and a half inch mark. And then create a cross right below the bead. 
and this about three and a half inches also. And what we're making is called a basic frame. So just twist the loop together. You don't have to go all the way down. Straighten it out. So like I said, um, this is the basic frame, this is the basic wire, the bottom here is the basic stem, and this is the feed wire. So I'm going to take the feed wire and move it to the left right, right here, because we'll be wrapping from left to right. All right. So you have the one bead right there. Um, this is called the one bead basic then. So we're going to be taking these beads and wrapping it around um, the basic wire. So feed some beads onto the onto the wire, and then take uh, this feed wire or working wire. We're going to take it and go behind the basic wire and back to the front. Have your thumb over the beads here to secure behind and back to the front. Just feed some more beads and now we'll be wrapping around the stem wire or the basic stem. So take your index finger, put it underneath uh, your work here, and put your thumb over the pedal or the center. And then we're going to take this, go behind, and back to the front. So what we have now is a um, one beat basic. Then we have three rows, so one, two, three. So I'm just going to keep wrapping until I have nine rows. I'm just going to keep rotating just because it's just easier to work with that way. All right, now we have all nine rows so what I'm going to do is flip to the back here and take this working wire and just mo move it towards the basic wire and just wrap it around here here. Next, bend the wire towards the center or the wires towards the center and then bend it away. Cut it so that it's flush. Next, I'll be working on the sepals. I'm using um, 26 gauge paddle wire. You can also use um, 24 gauge copper core wire. I already have the bead strung on wire. We're going to leave a three and a half inch tail as usual or um, 10 centimeters. Um, the technique that we're doing today is um, similar to the continuous 
loop. Um, it is called the continuous wraparound. So I'm going to start with seven beads and make a loop. We're going to take this working wire, move it to the left. As I'll be wrapping from um, left to right. And then I'm going to count um, 16 beads to read my notes there. 5, 10, 15, 16. Okay. Now we'll be wrapping around um, this uh, tail here. So just take it, go behind, back to the front. Let's wrap it around one more time so that it is um, the bottom is secure. Now we have one sepal. And what I'm going to do is just take my fingers and just pinch it. Just pinch the outer just so that it's kind of pointy. Now let's make another one. Um, let's leave about maybe three millimeters here. Just kind of put your finger here to mark it and we'll count seven beads again. Make one small loop, twist it twice, move your working wire to the left, and we're going to count 16 beads, 5, 10, 15, 16. And I'll be wrapping around. That's why it's called the continuous wrap around. All right. Now we're going to take this working wire here and wrap it around um, this space that we left there. So one, two. And then we're going to pinch this here. You can either make all of them um, at once and pinch it all at once or pinch it as you go. Um, I'm going to keep going until I have seven of these. I mean six. Okay, <laughs> I have all six of these done. So I'm just going to take my wire cutters and cut it. And then twist the wires together now we're ready to work on the leaves um, I'll be using the 26 um, gauge paddle wire again and we're going to do um, continuous loops again let's start with two inches or um, five and a half centimeters. Make a loop. And let's make another one. I'm just going to do two, two loops. Just like this. You can also do a, uh, a bigger leaf by doing um, two, two and a half inch loops or um, six and a half centimeters. I have a few sizes for the leaves. Um, this one, the one that we just did with the two inch loops, this one um, I did with, uh, it's slightly bigger, two and a half inch or six and a half centimeters. Then I also did some single loops with the two inch and two and a half inch. Now we have all of the components uh, for the small daisy. Now let's put this together. All right, so I'm just gonna take the center, just stick it in here.
Now go to the back. Just take your wires, uh, I mean your um, wires and twist it together gently with your pliers here. Just a little bit. Next, I'm going to take this whole thing and stick it to this in this little hole. I left there. Okay. Almost got it. There you go. <laughs> all right. It helps if all the wires are the same length. All right. Now we're going to twist all the wires together with your pliers. Now I'm just holding the wires with um, the uh, pliers and twisting the flower. Gentle, make sure you don't break any of the wires. Scoot the center in place and shape. Just bend the petals in, shape everything. Make sure everything is where you want it. In addition to the uh, small daisy, I also have a pattern for a medium sized one, a large one, and also a cute little bud. We are ready to assemble. I have um, three, three stem wires over here. I'm using two that are 18 gauge and one that is um, 16 gauge. First, we're going to do the medium and the bud, and then we're going to attach it to the main stem of the bigger flower. So let's start with the bud. I'm just going to place it next to the 18 gauge stem and just wrap it with floral tape. I'm just going to stop until it covers the stem wire. On second thought, I think I'll add um, one small leaf on here too. And just wrap it until I cover all of the wires. And with the leaves, it's just basically wherever you want it. And it's kind of twist it like this. Next, we're going to do the same thing with the medium sized flower. Place it next to the 18 gauge um, floral stem. And then wrap it with tape. Add a leaf just wherever I feel like it. Okay. 
just until I have the wire wrapped. And shape the leaf a little bit. Next, we'll be flossing the stem. I'm using um, DMC Metallic Floss. It's an embroidery floss. You don't need to use the metallic. Um, just regular embroidery floss will work. So I'm just going to put this around. Just wrap it around. Leave the tail here a little bit. And we're just going to wrap around the tail. Gonna keep wrapping around. All right, I've wrapped down about um, four and a half inches or eleven centimeters. Just gonna tie the knot over here. And then take my floral tape. And just wrap it around. Just until the embroidery floss is um, covered. Now I'm going to do the same with the medium sized flower. And here I have the medium flower. Um, I wrapped down about five and a half inches or about 14 centimeters. Now I have the large daisy um, flossed down to um, six inches um, or about 15 centimeters. And now I'm ready to add um, the medium flower. I'm just going to add it right here. Place it. Place the stem next to the big daisy. And just wrap it all together with the floss. I'm going to wrap down to where I want to add the bud, and then I'll add that. I went down about um, an inch or three centimeters, and now I'm ready to add the, the bud right here. And I'm just going to wrap everything together. Move it over here. And right over here, I'm just going to add um, this leaf here. Just floss it right in with the bigger one. Now where you floss down to depends on where you want the placement of this in the vase and how long you want the stem. So place it next to your vase and um, see where you need to end the flossing at. I'm just going to keep going. 
With the stem, I went down about three inches. Cut this here. And now let's wrap floral tape all around it until we get to the bottom. And we're wrapping all three of these stems together with the floral tape. Now you can see that there's a there's one that's especially longer and there's some shorter ones. Um, this is how you build height if you want um, to have a longer stem. All right, now we are done with this stem here. Now, if you want to, you can always take your wire cutters and cut it to the length that you want of the vase. Now I want to show you some of the um, variations that I've done here. You can do uh, one flower on one stem, of course. This is a shorter one. And this is a uh, one of the big daisies on a kind of more like a medium length stem. And just uh, single leaves. With this one, I've done a uh, medium flower and a uh, small flower and just various leaves. This is all to your own discretion, however you want to, you know, arrange it. And with this one here, um, larger daisy, small daisy, and bud similar to the one that we just made. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.